What is the quickest, slowest car on sale in the UK? Well, to find out, we're gonna have a drag race between a Toyota Igo X, a Kia Picanto, a Suzuki Jimny Commercial, and a Citroen Ami. Because I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, car, wow. Now let me tell you about this Toyota Igo X. So it has a one litre naturally aspirated three cylinder engine with 72 horsepower and 93 newton metres of torque. It drives the front wheels via a five speed manual gearbox. And this thing weighs in at 945 kilos. The price, it's 16,000 pounds. Then we have the Suzuki Jimny Commercial. That has a 1.5 litre naturally aspirated four cylinder engine with 101 horsepower and 130 newton metres of torque. It drives the rear wheels when you have it in two wheel drive mode via a five speed automatic gearbox. That weighs in at one 1,100 kilograms and costs 20,000 pounds. Then we have the little Citroen Ami, which is by far and away the least powerful car here. So it has a single electric motor with eight horsepower and 40 newton meters of torque. Wow. It has no gearbox, it's just a single speed, and it weighs in at 471 kilos. The price, seven and a half thousand pounds. Finally, we come to the Kia Picanto, but let's ask its driver, who is model and TV presenter, Jody Kidd, about it. Jody, how are you? Are you liking the car that you're driving today? I am indeed. I'm actually quite impressed with this car. There's quite a lot of space because I'm six foot two and I was a bit worried when you said we were going to do like a mini little small car race. And this is lovely inside actually. It's not bad at all. But how much power does it not have? <laughs> So it is a one litre naturally aspirated with only three little cylinders with 67 horsepower and pushing out not quite a hundred newton metres of torque, but 96 front wheel drive, five speed gearbox, very light, 933 kilos. And there's about 13 grand this. The question is though, which car do you think is going to be the slowest? Well, I know it's going to be the Citroen Ami, but by how much, I'm not sure. Between the other three cars though, I think this is going to be quite close and it's going to involve a little bit of driver skill because we're going to have to stir the gears ourselves. I think that's exactly what I was saying. I don't think it's down to the cars at all. It's going to come down to us actually nailing those gear changes. So let's do it. Let's find out. Now, if you like these kind of strange drag races, we've got some really interesting ones coming up. So to make sure you don't miss out on those, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. Now, before we race, let's do the customary car wire sound check. So I'm going to rev up this three cylinder in the iGo X. <laughs> Gotta say, this actually sounds pretty decent from the inside, better than some performance cars, namely from Audi, because there's no soft limiter. Okay, Jade, let's have a listen to your car. That's all right as well. That's better than that RS4 you drove earlier. This is so bad. And finally, the Jimny. Yeah, it's okay. And there's no point doing the Ami, so we're just gonna make some sound effects while showing you some images of the Ami. Hopefully this will be lols. That's enough of that. Let's race. Three, two, one. Oh, Jody was a bit keen off the line there. Come on, come on. Come on. No! I'm gonna come past the chimney, come on! What's happened to her car? It's like she's hit a wall! What is going on here? Jody, you absolutely, totally nailed the start. And it was like, you're so far ahead of me. And then it was between me and the Jimny fighting it out for second and third. And then as we steadily got closer to the finish line, you like slowed down, what happened? I don't know, I really hope I hit the right gear, but it felt normal. I just, I think we're missing that mid talk. You got hardly any talk in that car. So it's like it just died at the top end and it was so close between me and the Jimny. Um, I think I beat you on the line there, Jimny. Oh, I don't know. I think I beat you. Well, I'll tell you what didn't win anything, the Emmy. It took a long time to finally make it over the line, but thanks for coming, Amy. You need to be in this race because you're the slowest car on sale in the UK. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Toyota won, completing the standing quarter mile in 20.2 seconds. The Suzuki was just behind, but also finished with a time of 20.2 seconds. The Kia came third with a time of 20.3 seconds, and the Citroen was last 
completing the standing quarter mile in 38 seconds. Right, now we're gonna have a rolling race. What we're gonna do for this is get up to 30 miles an hour and we'll have the cars in second gear, then we'll race to the half mile. However, we've actually got the AMI positioned on the quarter mile. And when I count in the other cars and say go, then the AMI will start going as well. And we'll see which of these cars reaches the half mile marker first. Okay, everyone get level. Three, two, one, go. Come on. Let's get up third. Look at that. The counter is like it just hits a wall. Come on, it's between me and the chimney and the Ami. I didn't think the Ami had even started then. Is it stationary or moving? Anyway. I've won that. Wait, how did you... Jodie, what the heck happened? I don't know. It's slow at the beginning of, th of third, like between like four and five and a half thousand revs and then suddenly six to six and a half, it finds a little bit more. That was just crazy. It's like you hit the turbo boost button or something because you just dropped and then you started to come back against the blubber. Was it the chimney? <laughs> I can't remember what car it was. Amy, did you go when I say go? It and I put down all eight horsepower. So you were going well in advance of when we came past you? Yes. Was that not what we were doing? It was so slow. It was much slower than I even thought. So you were already moving for a good long time by the time we came past you? Yeah, for what felt like an age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so slow. Right, let's try something else. Okay, we're going to do the same thing again, rolling race to the half mile. This time we're going to do it from 50 miles an hour, starting in third gear. Amy, you can go now. Three, two, one, go. It's neck and neck between me and the Picanto. I've got the feeling the Picanto's going to die soon. No, it's pulling it back. Look, it suddenly just comes pulling back. What is going on with that Picanto? It doesn't make any sense. I really don't get it. Between four, like, it's just nothing. And then it suddenly just picks up. I mean, we even caught up with you. It's got, has it got VTEC or something? It's like it's got VTEC and VTEC kicked in. The chimney was way ahead, then you came past it. I know, it baffled me. Uh, by the way, just look around, there's the Ami just coming down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna have a brake test from 70 miles an hour when we reach the line, full emergency stop. We sent the Ami off already because it's gonna take a while for it to get down there and it stops speed's like 28 miles an hour anyway. If you'd rather watch another drag race instead of this, then just click on the pop-out banner up there for the link in the description below. If not, stay here for the brake test. Brake test now. Hello there. Well, the Ami won that. <laughs> Have you got ABS? No, oh, no ABS. Okay, so, Amy won. Second place, though, I'm not sure. It's you. Just about. Is my wheel a bit further back from the line than yours, do you think? I think so, yeah. The Jimny, oh my gosh. It doesn't help that it's on, like, aftermarket knobbly tyres, really. Was it a bit scary for you in the Jimny? And I got all the way down to first gear and it still didn't help. You weren't doing clever racing driver braking nonsense, were you? No, oh, I was mentally going down to first gear, just willing the car on. <laughs> okay. Thank you.